How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here back from Too Many Games. Had a wonderful time in Technically Oaks near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, I was there with some friends. I picked up a whole bunch of stuff, saw some really cool things, and I'm going to show you what I saw. And then right afterwards, I'm going to show you what I picked up. Check this out. And you see this, and you're just like, oh, it's probably like sports games and stuff. Dude, it's like Rescue Rangers for five. There's like Little Nemo. Five bucks only. What else do you see? What else do you need? That's a good one. I, like, I played a lot of that one. Awesome music. Tim falling for the win. Look at these Super Nintendo games, five bucks each. Or sports titles are a dollar. But it's like, still, I saw like Super Empire Strikes Back, five bucks. Um, Mario Paint's worth about five. <laughs> There's like Pilot Wings, Clay Fighters for five. Dude. Some great Famicom games over here too. Got box Genesis games down there. You gonna grab those? Yeah. Five bucks each. Look Except at that. For World Cup's a buck. Oh, okay. Well, World Cup would be a dollar, but Cyborg Justice for five. X Men for five. This guy's gonna. This guy knows how to sell his stuff. He's just gonna sell it all and get home early. I'm trying to move some units. Just trying to move units. I'm telling. You. And then he also has this cool stuff over here too. There we go. If I didn't have to fly back, I'd have to make you an offer on everything. You got your flasks and lighters. Don't see this too often at game conventions. Flasks and lighters, but they also have cool stuff. Oh yeah, we make them. They make them. <laughs> Let me destroy your. Uh, no, you're fine. Just set up. Turn up and just feel it. You can feel. It. I mean, it's oh yeah. Stickers. No, it's on there. Yeah. It's on there. That's awesome. I've actually had people come back after years after years and buy yeah. the glasses and pull it out. I'm like, the glass is banged up, but this. this yeah. Is still on them. <laughs> I love it. Oh, these too. Look at that. A lot of import stuff too, especially if you're looking for like slimes. There's a metal slime back there. It's kind of cool. Mystery games. I dig it. Lots of great Famicom games in here too. Let me see if I can find an awesome Famicom game. If you're looking for Famicom games, make sure you look for. Uh, I don't know. Door Door. They're demoing uh, Eagle Island and the Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. Eagle Island coming soon for the Switch. It's actually a really fun game. There you go, like that. <laughs> anyway, fun game. Love these unique ones too. Hello. Makes it fun. Stuff in the case there. Cotton, great. Oh, oh dude. Uh, can you imagine? It's cool to see this like, I kind of have a little bit of everything here. Full systems. What caught my eye was, back, here it is. Got a Turbo Duo, 225 complete, comes with a couple games. That's awesome. Neo Geo CD, TurboGrafx 16. What about a Panasonic 3DO? The hook, yeah, complete too. With the PlayStation with the screen on it. <laughs> Play a box of stuff too. Think you see anything you need? A box of Lynx, perhaps? Maybe the 3D. Sega Scope system. How about a Rob? 45 bucks. Kind of cool to see. Random acts of stuff. Including all your snack needs. Pocky, ramen -y. And I do love my video game books. Some good ones in here too. I recommend that Zelda one right there. That Final Fantasy one. That's awesome. These Professor Shy Guy shirts are awesome. They're it's bleach design, right? Yeah. Dude. That's crazy. Oh, don't don't spoil your secrets. Everyone else is gonna do it now. I love it. You got some CDs down here too. And that suit right there. That's the winning suit. The winningest suit I've ever seen in my life. That's sweet. Where'd it come from? You remember? Okay, good lord. And they have other designs? Oh yeah, yeah. But this is, this is the best one, clearly. <laughs> so, well, you know that you're wearing it, it sure is. This is from... It's Retro Mania Wrestling. Those guys all signed. More to be announced soon. And how familiar does it look? That's so cool. 
I played a little bit of this. It it plays legit. Trust me. You're gonna want to check it out. Love WrestleFest from back in the day. That's so awesome. Always the quality stuff from Square Painter. You think these are printed from the uh, game? These are hand painted. Hand painted squares. He paints every individual square. Isn't that crazy. Love these ones too. Where he'll take like you know some thrift store painting. Add his own little splash to it. So awesome. Yeah, if you ever see if you ever see this guy, you know you're in for some quality hey, treats. Are you, you, think are you seriously? Are you seriously? You seriously think you're doing it? I was just I was just putting Sneaking you over. Behind my booth here. I was putting you over by selling your cool stuff here. I appreciate it. Man, listen. Thank you. I don't know. Which one are you most proud of right now? Mega Man up there. Yeah. That's that, the one that I always say. I've had that one since, geez, 2008, 2009 I did that one. All right. And then when I first painted it, I didn't know what I was doing, so it, just, it wasn't painted well. I didn't have my technique down. Right. So I didn't show it for years. It just sat in my house, and then I took it out, repainted the whole thing, put a fresh coat of paint on it at the end of 2018. So there's been hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of hours put into that. All right. I signed it twice. I don't want to sell it. I'll be very upset. I will begrudgingly take You bring it. it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta make I, another I one. I almost didn't bring it, and you know, it was like, just bring it, everybody likes it. I, I asked on Twitter, and everybody was excited. Yeah. All right, fine. Every year there's a new theme. It's awesome. Animal Crossing. A bunch of guests here. Arlo, awesome. Angry Video Game Nerd, awesome. Boogie's house, they're all awesome. Tommy Dreamer. I met Tommy Dreamer. I met She Says for the first time. Boundary Break, super good show. This guy's hilarious, love that dude. Scott the Watt, such a nice guy. Pretty cool. Got the enamel pins too. I had to get the shirt. There I am. It's a good looking picture. I wish I looked that awesome in real life though. You did very well. Thank you for actually giving me a little bit of gruff and badassness <laughs> to uh, my demeanor. <laughs> I love it. Of all things to find, Christmas Pac-Man. I'm curious now. Oh, five bucks only. Dude, what a deal. Of all things you don't see very often, View Master 3D Mario 2. It's kind of fun. Love it. You can call Tink Assault. To view that. You look in there. I love finding stuff like that. You know. You know. You know. It's a game factory. Cool to find. I also like this idea. Yeah, because if you're laying flat, it takes up more space. It does. See, so you just lay them sideways and you have the little label on the side. And then there's this. And then there's that. Could be. Let's find out. I'm really going to guess. Really tight. Pokemon Snap. Here it goes. Oh, Mario, Mario 2. Oh, Mario Party 2. What a great game. All right. With the cowboy. With the yeah, well, all right, there you go. Look at these indie games all down the hall here. Some great indie games here. You saw the wrestling game earlier. There's so many other games too. Showing some love to the indie titles. Not something you see too often. But one of these. Catcher. It's like really cool. Cornflakes boxes. 
promo. Other cool stuff in there. Oh. Yeah. There's that. Just a box. And when in doubt, socks. Lots of socks. I actually kind of like the Nintendo one, the, uh, con the controller socks. I did that. Yeah, I take it. That was cool. Gotta have these, of course. What a good deal on them, too. It's pretty cool, right? Some of the cool ones, too. Promotional skateboard? Sure. Got the uh, Nintendo signs here. How cool, cool is that? Also some Nintendo signs. These guys always bring the quality stuff too. I dig it. Look at this. Great idea too. Which one would you grab? If I could choose any of them. Might be a Space Channel 5. Oh, that's awesome. That looks so cool. I'm down for that for sure. This is called uh, Blood. Hashtag Blood. Dude. What was it? I love it. You're hungry? All the stuff in case. Oh, look at the thing up there. The punch out. Come on. That that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh boy. There's a lot. Where did that, where does this many amiibo? Oh, I guess with Smash and stuff like that. Was it this, was it this many amiibos? There's a lot more than this, probably. Good lord. I have never been to Video Games New York. So they came here. And they have every game you're looking for. Switch, Vita, PlayStation 4. A little bit of PSVR in there. Got the limited run games over there. Collector's Editions. Got the Retron 77, Hyperkin stuff. Brawler 64, the Tribute 64. Got the back-to-back uh, -back handicap style. I can dig it. Oh man, classic. There we go, got Sergeant Slaughter. That's kind of cool. Set up back here. Some free play, some consoles, some arcades, some pinball. The weird games that you don't really get to see very often. Some good stuff, man. Oh, here, let me show you this game. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. Well, or not. <laughs> uh, good stuff here. It's pretty cool, too. Spectators, they're playing. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> These are kind of fun though. It's kind of neat. That's everything you need to build this. I should tell Pat about that. If I hit the button, nothing happens when I hit the button. Okay. Still cool though. Sonic the Hedgehog camera? Oh, yeah. Oh, fun. <laughs> it takes pictures super fast. That's right. Super fast shutter speed. It even has a tripod stand. Oh, <laughs> that's legit. <laughs> that's pretty legit. That's too funny. That's a USB. Interesting. I don't know if these are kind of my favorite table this is types a up. promo item from GameStop. When you oh. Interesting. Should have pre-ordered. Love the KBE toys sticker on there. Was six ninety nine on clearance for four ninety nine. Now eighty bucks. But it is Dr. Robotnik. The way to go. That's cool. Tell me the price on this. Must be hard to find. Oh. Go to the chow though. Uh, before we even started. Uh, oh, I see. Like it wasn't like sold, sold. But like, right. The guys bought it before the attendees came in. Sure. He let us keep it in here for like a day and a half. Oh yeah, just to like, bring people in. Keeps it safe too, so he doesn't have to worry about go. it. Yeah. Gets grounded. Yeah. And if someone makes a better deal for it, you're like, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't afford any of this, but. I didn't know that one for that much money. Big shout out to my buddy Ken and David for hanging out with me all weekend. Of course, a huge shout out to both uh, Justin Silverman, Paul Truitt, uh, Ryan, and everyone on these uh, on the team for having a wonderful, wonderful convention. I put it way up there with uh, one of the best conventions I've ever attended. That's a true story. So hopefully get a chance to check it out next year. If you were there, I hope I saw you. If you weren't there, maybe you can make it out next year. I hope I'll see you there. Assuming I'm going to be there. We'll see. <laughs> Never mind about all that. Let me show you the cool stuff I picked up. And all with the pickups, sometimes there's people showed up at my table. It's like, hey, I don't know if you'd have one of these or not, but here, have one of these. I was like, I don't have one of these, but I'll take it. Uh, this is like a Sega Genesis looking um, the four, four tap for a USB. It's like, dude, I love it. It's like a Sega, it's like a Sega Genesis Mini, but the Mini hasn't even come out yet. This is like the OG right here. The coolest people you ever saw in your life. These guys right here. Mega Powers Monthly uh, have these uh, dust sleeves that were given out. Uh, they're customized uh, to them and their channel, I suppose. And it uh, fits your uh, Nintendo games perfectly, just like that. Ain't that something? Huh. What a, what a great idea. I should get some of these for myself. It is always a pleasure to see limited run games there. There's a couple of VR games I never bothered backing or you know, or supporting when that first came out. I was like, oh, I'll get it later. I see limited run games at enough conventions. And they did have one of these and I'm so happy they did because last copy, I got the last copy they brought to too many games. Uh, they only had one of them, I picked it up. It's a game I didn't uh, have yet, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'm a huge fan of PlayStation VR. So hey, more physical copies is good news for me. What they didn't have, which I really wanted to see was Thumper for the PlayStation VR. They didn't have it. But someone did by the name of Video Games New York. These guys are legit. Their table was packed with all kinds of cool stuff. And they happened to have a copy there. And this was actually gifted to me. I was just like, um, somebody was looking around for it. They came up to me and they were like, wait, have you, have you found Thumper for the PSVR yet? And I was like, no, I haven't seen it yet. I mean, no, I did, I did see it way over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over there and pick it up pretty soon. And he's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. I got you. And he came back a little bit later. Um, I thought he was buying one for himself and one for me, but he just bought the one for me and gifted it to me. So, dude, thank you so much. I mean, I was, I was going to pay for it, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was just like, but I'll, but I'll, I'll accept it humbly. Uh, and thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And um, I know you were not with Video Games New York, but shout out to Video Games New York, man. They, they had a great booth. Was, it was fun just to see what they had. I will take this moment very quickly to show off their pamphlet. And they have a new logo every year. That's always inspired. You can tell what the, that one is. Like that. Too many games. <laughs> and then Animal Crossing font. I gotta love that. And my David, uh, my David, my buddy David. Well, he's forget it. He's my David now. Uh, my David uh, uh, gifted me this to give to Kelsey. This is going to be a spoiler for Kelsey if she sees this. Um, you know, she's a huge Animal Crossing fan, so look out for this. It's going to be cool. They, they do these enamel pins. Everyone's doing enamel pins. It's insane. Oh, what was the name? Tam? Tammy? 
Is that right? Is it Tammy? Oh, I hope so. I man, if and if I spoiled the name, I apologize in advance. Uh, bags and bags of super battle, uh, uh, is it super battle tank or super uh, yeah, super battle tank sealed for Game Gear, and and she had like three or four bags full of them, and it was just handing handing them out to like just people who were hanging around. So I was like, thanks, <laughs> I'll take it. I met Patrick Stoll at a video game con last year, and I had a great time there too. Um, was there this time too, gifted me some stuff, including a Avengers keychain, very cool. A Game Genie, I'm sure Patrick's seen some of my live streams, I need some of this. I love my video game books, got it's a secret code, a book I don't have. And a box of cereal, birthday cake flavored Fruit Loops, which I left at the convention, at the table I crashed, but my buddy Chris took a picture of it. Here's a picture all the same. It's all right, I'll, I'll pick up a box later on on your behalf, right? And thank you so much, I'm glad you stopped by. <laughs> it's not working. This is from uh, my buddy Ken. Actually, that was there, Ken, uh, Ken Wozitek. Make sure you check out his Instagram too, Mesmeron on Instagram. Um, not working, open cart surgery soon. Again, with video game books, Hardcore Gaming 101, uh, one of my favorite ones to get. Always new books all the time. I'm a huge fan of Treasure. They have a book that's all about Treasure. You're, you'll see a video later on of just this book for sure. But it's just, hey, if you love Treasure like I do, right here, got a book all about Treasure. I love Treasure's games. Silhouette so Mirage. Silhouette so Mirage has to be my favorite Treasure game, if you're gonna ask. I wanna hear from yours in the comments. Gotta support the musicians that are out there as well. Whenever they have CDs, I usually try to buy one or two of them. Super Thrash Brothers was there. Looking forward to popping this in my car. I'm still old school, man. I still listen to CDs in my car. Got a six disc changer. So uh, checking out this uh, this one here from Super, Thra Th Super, Super Thrash Brothers, if I can pronounce it correctly. And then Professor Shy Guy was there. New album out. I'm looking forward to checking this out too. Not only was he doing CDs, he was doing shirts too, including this one. Oh, let me pan down a little bit. Including this one. Look at that guy, love it. It's like a, what's it called, like bleach thing? It's like you get the shirt and he bleaches it a certain way with the cutouts and everything looks awesome. <laughs> Professor Shy Guy uh, was doing two shirts for 30 bucks. So I picked up this one and then uh, and then that guy right there. Look at that cool, isn't that, isn't that great? I uh, love it, love the colors on this one too. All right, so looking forward to this and looking forward to checking out this disc. I'm gonna be popping it in my car next time I get in there. But that's not the only shirt, no, no, no. I also picked up the Spawn Wave shirt, Spawn Wave shirt. Spawn Wave shirt. I also picked up the Spawn Wave shirt because my face is right there. Look how awesome I made me look, too. I was talking to the artist about this shirt, too, and I was like, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know I was on this shirt. I'm glad I am. It's okay, and I'm totally cool with that, too. Um, I didn't, but I saw them working on this. I was like, oh, it's a cool idea. It's a great design. And then I was like looking at it, too, and the artist was right there. He's like, oh, yeah, you're on the shirt, too. I'm like, am I really? He's like, yeah, right there. I got a. Uh, you got Rich right next to me too. So I was like, which one's me? <laughs> if I looked that cool in real life, man, I'd be good to go. I also got this shirt here. Look at that. Votary. Votary? Votary? I think it's Votary. Video games Votary. I like the design on that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, rock, I'll rock this. I'll rock this. It's a double XL. I wear double XL. You're awesome. And thank you for stopping by too. I know I, we missed each other at E3, but we were able to, uh, actually able to hook up here at, uh, at uh, Too Many Games. So very, very cool. Good looking out, man. And your kids are awesome. Cool thing about going to these conventions like Too Many Games, I run into a lot of internet buddies that I've talked to online for a while, and that I meet them in real life for the first time too, and Disc Cart was there, and look at the cool design on this one here. Look at the cool design on this one here. This is, oh, this super comfy material. Super comfy material. Ugh, ugh. Super comfy material. Uh, so very, very cool, looking forward to checking that out. And what Disc Cart does, his channel, is he shows you proper, cool ways to display your games on a shelf or something like that. So I, I encourage you to check out his channel. It's linked in the description. And he also does 3D printing type stuff, so made a very customized keychain here. Isn't that cool, right? That's awesome, I love stuff like that. No, it's funny too, he 3D printed these little, like, uh, dust sleeves. I was like, oh, that's cute, okay, sure, I get it. You know, that's, that's kind of cute to have, like, a dust sleeve. And he's like, no, 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 it's not just a dust sleeve, it's a dust sleeve for your Switch games. It's a dust sleeve for your Switch games. It's a dust sleeve, oh, you hear me the first couple of times. This this is such a great idea, man. This is awesome, so thank you again. And, and, and like I'm telling you, make sure you check out his channel. It says Disc Cart, Disc Cart, articulated. I still get, I'm not weirded out by when someone asks for an autograph. You know, can you sign this? Can you sign my game? Can you sign my Nintendo? They get like a Nintendo system, get everyone's signature on it, stuff like that. Um, that's cool, but then every once in a while, it's like somebody was like, here, can you sign this for me? I'm like, I don't even have one of these. 
<laughs> he, he made this so I could sign it, and then he has it for his own collection, I'm sure. So he, he actually had a second one, he gave it to me too. I was like, this is awesome, I love, this is cool, this is me, see? I'm not wearing my Riggs hat right now. My buddy Ken, I've been talking a lot about my, my, my buddy Ken, my buddy Ken. Uh, Ken Wolstick was there, he was selling um, some stuff at the table, including some Pokemon cards, and there was two Pokemon cards that uh, Kelsey's collecting that she didn't have, so I got these for her too. People, there's stuff for Kelsey, I'm telling you. I got one of these because it's awesome. I love these old school books. I actually got this from Paul, uh, Paul Truitt, who was uh, collecting these things, and he had a bunch of them. He's like, oh, I was like, oh, cool, I need one of those. He's like, oh, here, just have this one. I got another one. I was like, cool, oh, thanks. The booth I crashed, I, they put me in the back corner, which is fine, that's where the guests are, but not a lot of traffic there for people shopping, and you know, sometimes it takes me going out to the floor saying, oh, I didn't know you were gonna be here. It's like, I've been here all weekend. What's, but I'm in the back corner, so I ended up crashing uh, Square Painter's booth, my buddy Adam, and uh, while I was there, I've been eyeballing it. I had to get something. He does such great work. Gotta rock the Star Tropics, man. Gotta rock the Star Tropics, man. Uh, he's called Square Painter because he has this is on grid paper and he paints it square by square. Everything's hand painted. Everything's hand painted from all your favorite games too. And I'm such a big fan of Star Tropics that had to had to make it work, buddy. You'll see this on my wall soon. Only a few more things left. Only a few more things left. I promise. Too many games is notorious for their screen wave parties. Now, uh, screen wave media um, and people from it are the same people who put on too many games. It's not really a screenwave convention, but the screenwave media people there, you know, it's the convention. It, you know what I mean? It's too many games is too many games, and it happens to have some of the screenwave media people who are doing both. Um, but they were hooking up people with these uh, hoodies um, for being there, like the creators. And I guess I was a creator, so I was like, dude, this is an awesome hoodie and uh, super, super comfy. Screenwave media, they're doing new games too. Um, I was such a big fan of uh, Use Your Words when that first came out, and um, Eagle Island looks fantastic. I actually played a little bit of Eagle Island. You saw that in the video. I'd recommend checking it out for sure. For Switch, please. You can play whatever you want, but I'm gonna play it on Switch. Couple more pins, just cuz. I'm telling you, these enamel pins are taking off everywhere. Girls, what do you got? Hi, Lily. Hey, what's wrong? Did you miss me? There's Laura. There's Lily. Did you miss me? Do you wanna show the good people? First Laura. First Laura, okay, go ahead. What do you got, Laura? Well, you see, my dad, he's the most greatest dad ever. I mean, like, look at this. Tell me you wouldn't want... To get to the point. <laughs> to get to the point, he was so kind enough to get us a little thing. A little Pikachu, a little Pokemon thingy. And and its name is 2007 Jaxie Pet. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what a great, that's a beautiful name. That's a, it's, it's a, it goes on for all a the, all, all the parents are naming their kids that. Rolls off the tongue. All right, Lily, what do you got? <laughs> I got my noose. My noose? My news. A wonderful time. I will see you at Game On Expo in Arizona coming up in August. Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October. <laughs> and who knows what other conventions are coming up this year, going on into next year. We're going to have a fun time. In fact, you're going to see these guys in Portland as well. I'm bringing my daughters to Portland Retro. Lama Lama. Lama Lama. Ah! Close off with one of those. Mwah.